when you hear that on a Friday morning, it means it must be time to go across the console and say good morning to Mr. Dick Belcher for the First Federal Money Program. How are you, sir? Uh, 96%. 96%? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you could be a lot worse. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. Hey, we got a little chilly weather today. Yeah. And uh, maybe a little snow this coming weekend. Could be. The uh, map is awful pretty right now. A lot of colors. <laughs> that means snow. <laughs> Uh, rain and snow mix, as usual, we're right on the line. Uh, north of us, it'll be all snow. South of us, it'll be a rain and snow mix. Maybe we won't get anything. That'd be lovely. Okay, I see I see that Zebby is back in his cage. Mm -hmm. Right, Scott? Yes, sir. Did you have anything to do with that? I did not, sir. Okay. One way or the other, <laughs> taking it or putting it back. <laughs> he searched high and low. And he <laughs> yes. Now, do we know, is Zebby male or female? Do I call it a her or a he? It? You know, it's kind of like a car. I think they're I think they're named after females. Okay. You respect them more that way. Ooh. They used to do that with hurricanes. <laughs> but I don't know. Okay. I, All right. I see uh, Scott Stalblum. He's, he's uh, raising... Uh, Needs volunteers for the, the bicentennial, which will be October the fifth. Uh, That's almost a year from now. But wow. uh, if you're interested in participating in that, call Scott at two two three forty two twenty three. Bicentennial of what? Of the state of Indiana. Oh, Did I don't you? know if you meant Zebby. If we were still talking about Zebby. <laughs> oh man. Be a long <laughs> morning. We got 28 more minutes to go. Yeah, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go with that. <laughs> okay, how about a little trivia? <laughs> okay, uh, when was the uh, first Thanksgiving football game uh, at Detroit? You know, they play every and uh, and who did they play? That's an easy one. <clears throat> anyway, we'll get that information uh, a little later on. Okay, in the sports field, uh, I'm, I'm getting a little tired, Scott, of uh, IU playing Austin Pay and Purdue playing uh, Immigrant Ward. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the Austin P every now and again, yeah. but what's this Immigrant, immigrant Ward? ward? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a little school in California. It's a little school on Ellis Island. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> However, IU's going to play Creighton coming up. There's actually getting a little tougher. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, uh, college football or basketball is uh, on us. Uh, the football for IU and Purdue, fortunately, is winding down. Yes. Purdue plays Iowa, undefeated Iowa. And uh, IU plays, uh, uh, let's see. Um, uh, Maryland. Go out to Maryland. That's tough. College Park. Mm-hmm. Powerhouse. Mm -hmm. Notre Dame has Boston College at 7-10 Saturday evening. They're winding down their, uh, their season. Uh, <coughs> Luck is out for the Colts. Luck. Luck's, Colts are out what? Luck ran out. <laughs> Broncos Manning's out. Mm. He's probably done. You think? For I a year, not. forever. Well, he's old. <laughs> forty something, right? Yeah. 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 yeah I, I hey, Dick, I, uh, I should take a second to tell the viewers that uh, not RTC's fault, but CBS will be airing the Colts game and not the Bears Broncos game. So, Broncos fans, you're going to have to find a different way to tune in. Okay. Uh, that's made by CBS National, and they told South Bend what they had to do. So that game, will you'll be watching the Colts on Sunday. What's what we want to watch? Is well, so. about 50-50 in this town, I think. Okay. So. Well, as those old timers, uh, some of them are still Bear fans. You know, yeah. Going way, way back. Way, way back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, the high school boys uh, basketball is going to start. Uh, we'll have uh, next Wednesday night the Zebras play their annual meeting, uh, first game before Thanksgiving. So lots and lots of sports going on. We'll have that game actually. It'll be a Culver Wednesday night. We'll have that. Okay. 
with you. Okay, some upcoming events. Max Kentucky Singers present their annual Christmas show at 7.30 December the 3rd at the Community Presbyterian Church here in Rochester. Fulton County Choral Club presents a wonderful Christmas time at 2 o'clock December the 6th at the Fulton Community Center. Tickets for the Fort Wayne Philharmonic uh, Orchestra Holiday Pop Concert is 7.30 the day after Thanksgiving, so that's, that's a week from today uh, that uh, that will happen. That's a nice event and uh, you can get tickets around town in various places or at the door, of course. Fulton County uh, United Ministries is now accepting applications for its annual Christmas toy and food drive. Joy Shrove, Sarah Dalton, and Aaron Leap are organizing the effort. I call them the Shrove Sisters, that uh, they do this every year. And we're going to talk a little more about that yeah. and coming up here in a little bit. Fulton County Farmers Market is 9 a.m. to noon, Saturday at the Fulton County Museum. Uh, they got a lot of baked goods and homemade uh, items and uh, nice uh, things available. So you go out and have a cup of coffee. It's going to be warm and uh, buy some things. Fulton County Crafters have a fall craft show tomorrow from 9 to 3 at the 4-H Fairgrounds. There's a free Thanksgiving dinner uh, starting at 4.30 Saturday at the Lydersport Community Center. There will be music, door prizes, and children's activities. Also, Grace United Methodist Church is an Operation Christmas Child drop-off point uh, for uh, Shoe boxes filled with toys, school supplies, uh, hygiene items, and uh, notes of encouragement. So uh, you can uh, drop off your shoe box at the Grace United Methodist Church. The Hero Tree, Hero Tree is at the Fulton County uh, Public Library. People may drop off pictures of their soldiers and a badge will be made to place on the tree. The badges will be given to the families uh, later on. Jerry and Mary Secrets of Mary and Jerry's Helping Hands Food Pantry will be open uh, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. November 24th for their Thanksgiving food distribution in the same hours December the 22nd for Christmas. The pantry serves people in the Tippy Valley School District. Identification is required. Okay, uh, some flowers to the Fulton County Farm Bureau. They donated $853 to the Fulton County 4-H Council and $853 to the Boy Scout Troop. Beacon Credit Union presented checks to two local entities, Compassionate Healthcare Health Center, and uh, that was $750 and the Fulton County Community Foundation, a thousand dollars. Now that thousand dollars with the foundation, that's a, that's good for a lily match. They'll match that with a thousand dollars, so that becomes two thousand dollars. Congratulations to them. Okay, we talked a little bit before we went on the air about Volkswagen. They they've got a deal now. If you drive a Volkswagen uh, diesel. Uh, there's certain limitations on that. Uh, I think there's uh, like 450,000 of them that uh, you get a credit card that's got $500 credit in it and you can go to the dealership and get $500 credit towards uh, doing whatever needs to be done in your vehicle. That's because of the emission at the emission uh, uh, mistake that they made accidentally. Accident. Yes. Well, Keyword. Well, tripped there, right? and fell down and wrote a computer code. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, uh, the Dow was off four yesterday, uh, uh, down to seventeen thousand seven thirty-two. It's uh, had a pretty good week. Uh, now the big the big news yesterday is uh, we we now have genetically modified salmon available. Yes. What do you think of that, Baron? I'm not afraid of genetically modified things. I'm afraid of what they live in before I eat them. You know, the advantage of the <coughs> genetic modified salmon grows twice as fast. Yeah, they had a picture of a guy holding two of them. One was normal and one was genetic, and the genetic was like twice as big. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, this will grow. You can uh, 
be sure there will be a lot of controversy. There's a lot of people get really uptight on genetically modified anything, whether, yeah. it's, whether it's crops, livestock, or whatever. I'm more afraid of what it's in before I eat it. Okay. Well, I quit I, eating shrimp out of the Gulf of Mexico after the oil spill. For that reason. Okay. Uh, I saw on the news this morning. I'm not. Sh yeah, I guess this would be true that uh, mortgage. Mortgages are easier to get now than uh, than they were a year ago, and yeah, that would be true. Uh, the agencies have dropped down their, some of their requirements, softened them up, and uh, you know, as it goes around, comes around. That might be what caused all the problems uh, six or seven years ago with a lot of bad loans. But uh, anyway, take uh, take a look at that if you're interested in getting a mortgage. Uh, stop in the first federal. And uh, you can talk to uh, John Schaefer, or Ben Dalton, or, or Bill Bill Morris over at Winnemac, and they can uh, uh, give you some ideas on uh, getting a mortgage. Of course, this is Thanksgiving uh, next Thursday. Thanksgiving. Uh, are you concerned about the cost of uh, the dinner? Say yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Well. The uh, Farm Bureau has come out with some numbers, they do this every year, that the cost of a dinner for 10 uh, it will be $50.11, and that's up 70 cents from a year before, which is uh, modest, primarily because of the cost of turkeys, which is caused by the food and a, a little bit of a shortage of turkeys. Yes. So buy your turkey early. Possible shortage of pumpkins, too. Pumpkins? Because of the weird weather we had this summer. Mm. I'm not concerned about the pumpkins, but maybe uh, maybe I should be. Pumpkin pie, huh? Yeah, and I'm not allergic to pumpkin pie. I'm allergic to turkey, so you know where my price is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want, you want to know how much pumpkin premix has gone up in the past year? Eight cents. Got that right here. All the ingredients, uh, everything involved in a, in, a, uh, in a Thanksgiving dinner right here. Sweet potatoes, green peas, uh, stuffing, 16-pound turkey is up a dollar and 39 cents. Total, as we said, up 70 cents. But Which brings up the talking about 70 cents. That's the amount that uh, gas is down from a year ago, about, about 70 cents. Uh, I see locally it's under two dollars now. Mm -hmm. and plummeting down is that a good word? Plummeting. I'd say. Okay. I'm looking at the price of furnace fuel. Okay. And from now and two years ago, it's half what it was. Is it? Yep. Wow. The really long, brutal winter that actually had a full-blown blizzard two years ago. You know, I was paying well north of four bucks a gallon, and uh, now well, I'm paying down around two. <laughs> It's, it's, it's called a windfall. Oh, you ain't kidding. <laughs> certainly is. Well, we're open today at First Federal from 8.30 to 5 uh, and tomorrow 8.30 to noon. We have a, uh, we do this every year. We have a little difference on uh, Thanksgiving. The day before Thanksgiving, we are, we're open till 5. Normally it's 4 o'clock on a Wednesday. But then on Friday after Thanksgiving, we close at 4. So we kind of flip that around. ATM is always open and you can bank online at firstfederalbanking.com or through our mobile app. And you can keep in touch with what's uh, happening by following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The thing that sets First Federal apart from uh, other mortgage lenders is uh, we service our own loans. Uh, uh, we, do, we do not sell off servicing like a lot of uh, banks do. Uh, the home buyer will always be able to talk with us and, and locally with local people and uh, take care of any issues you might have. At First Federal, it's, it's FDIC insured and an equal housing lender and our NMLS number is 3999 all right, let's take care of all the legalese now that we're, we're legal. And, uh, and speaking of being legal, we'll go to uh, Mary Kay. <laughs> I'm legal this morning? All right. 
All right, Mary Kay, uh, you you, be, you wear several hats in this community, but I one do. that you're wearing is uh, you kind of help with the uh, Junior Leadership Academy. And I, I need to mention that the young lady next to you is uh, Courtney Fry from Caston. And welcome, Courtney. We're glad to have you with us. Thank you. All right, uh, Mary Kay, tell us, tell us what's happening. Uh, the Fulton County Youth Leadership Academy is a group of high school <coughs> juniors across our county. Um, we have 19 students this year and each one of the students has to do some sort of a project. Uh, we are trying to mentor leadership here within the community and my role on the board is to work with a group of five from the academy and we're looking at why would you volunteer in the community. So our first project this year is to assist the United Ministries with their Christmas basket project and we're trying to collect 500 toys for them. They oh, do... Wait a no, you are going to collect 500. We will collect 500. Yeah. Okay, go yes. ahead. <laughs> a very positive yeah. statement right. there. And Courtney will tell us how, how you're going to do that in a little bit. That's correct. Courtney is one of my five students, and I am working with a great group of the students this year. Um, Joyce Schroff is um, always looking for ways to assist with the Christmas project. Um, Mary Zion has worked uh, with the group every year putting out toy boxes uh, but I asked Joyce if that's something that the students could help with this year and she was thrilled to think uh, that they'd have some assistance with collecting the toys. They have around um, a need for two toys per child and they do have to be new toys and we'd like them unwrapped because they try to match two toys for each child in the Christmas basket project. Okay, Courtney, uh, tell us how you're going about to collect 500 toys. So what we did was we set out boxes basically wherever we could. So in Mentone, we have one at both banks, at Allen's Country Market, a time after time, First Baptist, Ch Baptist Church, Java Jacks, and the library. And here in Rochester, we have one at the high school, the Church of Heartland, the Cross, and Joseph's Church. Church. And we have one at both Caston High School and in the elementary side. And we also have one at Logan Sport Church of the Brethren. Okay, uh, what, what, what kind of toys are you looking for? Uh, give us a little bit of a description. Uh, of well, we need some for all ages, so baby toys to even teenage toys. We can't have anything that would be considered a weapon because... A weapon? Yeah, because... Oh, you know the kind of the shoebox thing where you send them overseas? Yeah. How you can't put anything like that in there? It's kind of the same deal. Okay. No guns or swords or uh, No weapons. Knives. <laughs> no weapons. Okay. All right. These are Christmas presents, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, Mary. Uh, tell, us, tell us about the... Uh, the Junior Leadership Academy. What's, what's your mission? What's your purpose? The Fulton County Youth Leadership Academy was established in 2007 as an off-spin of the Adult Leadership Academy. The uh, premise is that we look for juniors in high school and we spend the entire school year with about 10 classes on leadership topics hoping that we can help them to become better leaders for their senior year in high school. But our ulterior motive is to uh, show them what's going on in our community and why it's a great place to come back to after their college days. Courtney, how did you uh, get interested in uh, the academy? And, uh, and tell us a little bit about the things that you're involved in at school. I was actually told about it by one of my friends because she went to apply and then she asked me about it. She's like, hey, are you going to go apply to it? And I was like, what is that? Like, I haven't even heard of it. So then she explained what it was, and I was like, yeah, I definitely want to apply. That way I can, like, be a better leader. Um, and it's kind of ironic because I am in about every club at Caston. Okay. So. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> it's actually teaching me to be a better leader. That way next year when all of our seniors leave, like, my class can take over. That way we are better leaders. So we cannot do a better job, but we can like step in and fill in their shoes. You're a junior now? Yes. Okay. Good. 
put your plans for advanced schooling any yet? Um, I'm, I definitely want to go to college, and I'm looking into business management, but I'm not really sure where yet. Well, you got, you got time. A little bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, tell us uh, about, uh, Mary, that the number of students that you have and some of the other projects that you're doing. Well, we did have about uh, 40 students apply, and we can only take 20. And that's based primarily on the fact that we tour a number of businesses here in the community. We come to First Federal, and uh, we just feel like a little bit smaller group is easier to uh, be sure that we're giving them some one-on-one -on -one attention as uh, leaders. We do have um, four different groups this year. One of our groups is doing fundraising and then my group's doing the volunteerism. No way, man. Fundraising. What, what are you going to do with the money? It does take some money to run the Leadership Academy. Not a lot, but it does take some money. And so we are doing several fundraising projects to uh, get that money to keep the Leadership Academy going. Such as? What type of fundraising? Well, coming up, we're going to do uh, Loaves of Love and those will be different types of breads. I think we're going to have about five different flavors of breads um, that people can purchase for five dollars and our students in that group are actually going to make the bread and then the whole Leadership Academy, all 19 students, will be trying to sell those during the holidays. So they're going to make their own bread? They're going to make their own bread, yes they're qualified to do this? And uh, we're doing that in conjunction with the Grass Creek um, fire department <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> over there over there and they Just have, in uh, case. <laughs> they have a um, certified kitchen there and they've been doing this the last several years okay we, we can rest assured you can rest assured <laughs> standing by with they, the they in light a fire and then they bake <clears> the bread so oh, okay. um, and then we also are looking at tourism trying to do some things with the uh, tourism and letting our students learn what sort of tourism there is um, available and then we're looking at food deserts and I have to say that's a new one for me uh, Megan Leininger is working with that group and they're going to learn uh, really about the scarcity of food and uh, right here in our community very serious very serious issue situation is pretty pretty unbelievable uh, People situation. go hungry right here in Fulton County. Yeah. So overall, the 19 students focus during the school year through 10 different sessions on all leadership qualities, but then break up into these smaller groups and focus more on their projects. And again, they have to put in about 10 hours of community service um, in order to graduate from the academy in the spring. Okay, Courtney. Uh, uh, how much time does this take? How often do you meet and, uh, and where do you meet? Where we meet is different every single time. What they want us to do is kind of meet in different places around Fulton County. That way we can like know Fulton County. So our first one was uh, Geneva Center. Geneva Center. Mm -hmm. And then we had one over in Mentone and then we had one at Ivy Tech and those are our only three so far. But we okay. meet about every month and kind of just touch base on everything and we kind of have a lesson. And our last one was we had a guest from Ivy Tech and she taught us a lot about financial aid and then like how much everything costs and kind of just opened our eyes on the real world money. So how many, how many from uh, students from Caston? We have five from Caston. Okay. And also... Uh, Valley and Rochester. Two okay. from Valley and then the rest are from Rochester. I see. I see. That, interesting. Interesting. Well, I assume you'll be coming to First Federal next year? We are. We have you on the schedule and um, the students are always uh, very interested to hear about what the bank does and I think one of the things you alluded to is it's a local bank. So I think they get to see the support of a local community bank. Yeah, we're, we're all local. That's wonderful. <laughs> That's good. Well, uh, for those that maybe next year are interested, uh, Mary, tell them uh, looking forward, when do they apply and how do they go through that to this, be as uh, 
uh, in the academy. This group will graduate in the spring in uh, May and then we immediately put out applications for students who will be juniors next year and uh, they can get that application on our website it is fcyla.org um, and we also try to network with the high school counselors and we're not always looking for the top students academically we're looking for those students we feel have a lot of leadership potential and can really make a difference in their class well that's that's neat most of you probably know out there that uh, that uh, Mary's also involved in the compassionate care uh, thank you for doing that job I know that's a tough job and uh, a lot of a lot of challenges it's an amazing place and we're finding more and more people that are um, unable to afford their health care so if you know of anybody that is in need of health care send them our way we're a free medical clinic okay tell them where you're located in hours we are at 740 north state road 25 just right by the airport and we are there monday through friday from nine to four is that just for county people just fulton county. fulton county we often get calls outside of the county but right now we can only support our own county and uh you've been there about a couple years now almost three now three yes. okay yeah came up from Peru and I did yes my husband and I moved here and have enjoyed the community for years at the lake and now live here and just trying to make a difference in the community okay ladies uh, thanks for stopping by this morning and uh, they need toys uh, there will be uh, boxes around the various businesses and churches and schools and uh, and uh, everybody needs to please consider pit pitch in please consider making a donation Thank you very much for stopping by. Our trivia this morning was about the uh, very first football game that was on Thanksgiving. When, when and where was it, Scott? Don't know. I don't know. Detroit. It was and in Detroit. They played, the, they played the Bears. Played the Bears about 1957, maybe? 34. That early. 34. Wow. wow. That's like early, yeah. early. Yeah. That would be one of the first years of the league, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that goes back a ways. Well, let's close with this statement by, I got two, two quotes here. Okay. So don't shut me off. <clears throat> Brian McGill said, he's an author and speaker. He says, you get most things in life, not by taking, but by giving. Is that the way it's right in here. And then F.F. F. Bosworth, who, uh, he was an author and he states uh, believe in your beliefs and doubt your doubts believe in your beliefs and doubt, doubt your doubts words doubt to live by advice okay. to me thank you Barry. thank you dick belcher again first federal money program Buying your first home? Let the experts at First Federal Savings Bank help you through the process. At First Federal, all of their mortgage loans are serviced locally with payment options that are convenient for you. Their staff will work with you answering your questions and providing professional service. First Federal will even pay standard closing costs for qualifying first-time home buyers. Just another way, First Federal takes care of you, your local mortgage lender. Have you had it with your slow computer? Let the experts at Mr. Megabyte help. Mr. Megabyte's specialty is bringing a slow computer back to life. And we can do it right from your home or from our service center. Mr. Megabyte also offers lots of other great services like website design, social media management, and data protection. Mr. Megabyte will have your computer up and running its best in no time. Call or visit our website and get back up to speed with Mr. Megabyte. Nope, you missed. You missed. You missed. Got your back. <laughs> You've never seen a game of tag like this. Save thousands on your new Chevrolet during the Chevy bonus tag event going on now at Shepherd's Chevrolet Buick in Rochester. Oh, man. It looks like I am it.
Come on out and see my friends at Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester online at shepherdsrochester.com.